long party now let me talk about the forward rate agreements now forward rate agreements are simply the forwards on the interest rates uh, in this case the underlying is the interest rate uh, now let me consider uh, uh, let me talk about what, what these forward agreements mean say for example uh, i have this i have a mr x now uh, uh, now uh, what what mr x has to do he has to borrow uh, he has to borrow uh, say for example uh, 10000 after uh, say for example three months so now what he does he actually uh, he actually goes to uh, a bank and asks him that uh, I need to borrow uh, 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 10,000 after three months so now I have a bank over here now uh, this bank says that uh, okay I will give you the loan but I'm not going to tell you the rate what is the rate today now uh, uh, the uh, uh, FRA bank says that uh, the uh, so, uh, the bank says that the uh, if you want to take the loan after three months you need to come to me after three months and I will tell you the rate. Say for example the current rate at this period is ten percent. Fair enough. Now he is quite worried about the fact that maybe the interest rates may rise. So uh, what he does he actually essentially uh, looks for a deal where he can actually lock in the deal today so as to borrow at a, at a particular interest rate now we have another bank say for example this FRA bank now this FRA bank says uh, says to Mr. X uh, whatever loan you need uh, uh, you can uh, uh, you can borrow with me at uh, I can give you the loan at uh, 10% per annum but you have to enter into a contract today that you will borrow 10,000 uh, of the three months uh, for say for example for a period of of six months now what essentially is this Mr. X doing he is borrowing after three months for a period of six months now this is known as 3 into 9 FRA uh, now let me explain it first 3 into 9 means I am going to borrow of the 3 months for a period difference between 2 is 6 for a period of 6 months now essentially if I have this I am going to borrow for a period after 2 months for a period of what's the difference 4 the water period of 4 months now suppose I have this I am going to borrow after 6 months for a period of 6 months so this is 6 into 12 FRA so now he is entering into a contract of 3 into 9 FRA and he is going to borrow a 10% now suppose after 3 months after 3 months if the price if the interest rates turn out to be 12% per annum now if the interest rate turn out to be 12% uh, FRA bank is going to give and Mr. X 2% of the amount that he has taken and this amount over here on which the interest calculations are made is known as notional amount or notional principle now uh, in the reverse case say for example the rates turn out to be 8% per annum in that case Mr. X has to pay to the FRA bank 2% so both the cases are possible whether the uh, FRA bank whether the interest rates rise or the interest rates uh, fall in both the cases the, uh, the both the cases that there will be a particular settlement now let me talk about the settlement settlement if interest rates are 12 percent now how much is the notional amount it is 10,000 so at what rate uh, uh, what is the current interest rate that is 12 percent at what rate they have entered into the FRA that is 10 percent now this is the contract for six months now the fact over here is very important now consider this case this is time period zero this is three months and this is six months and this is uh, say for example nine month period here now what uh, the uh, uh, Mr. X is going to take the loan here and on this date today the rate is 
after three months the rate is 12 percent but he has entered into our contract over here to borrow for uh, after three months for a period of six months that, that is three into nine fr now when the rate is disclosed it means uh, the rate will be disclosed at this time period which means that the mr x will be, be will be knowing that fra bank has to pay me two percent on this date only so mr x goes to the fra bank and says him that pay me the amount this amount today only because the rate is 12 percent and i am borrowing from bank at the rate of 12 percent so you need to pay me two percent now uh, uh, FRA bank says that you are, are going to take the loan for six months so I can pay you here also wait up to the six months I will pay you two percent but I will pay you after the six months but if he says that no I need to need a payment today only then FRA bank will give him the present value of this amount so because the rate is 12 percent and the for the six months the rate is going to be six percent so FRA bank is going to say to him that uh, I will pay you the amount uh, but I am going to pay you, I am not going to pay you the full amount however I am going to pay you the present value of what you had to receive at this, pay, at this point of time. So by this way uh, Mr. X will be receiving the amount uh, uh, from the FRA bank. Now uh, if you do the calculations you can get uh, the amount that uh, Mr. A A X has to receive from this FRA bank. So the net settlement will be equal to 94.33. In this scenario, the uh, FRA bank is going to pay 94.33 to the uh, dollars to the Mr. X. Now uh, let us consider another scenario where the rate turns out to be 108 percent. Now suppose the interest rate is turns out to be eight percent in this case he is borrowing ten thousand the current rate is eight percent he has entered into a contract of ten it is beyond a period of six months now if he is going to take today only if he is going to pay today only in this case uh, mr x has to pay because the rate is less than the uh, FRA rate so in this case the Mr. X is, uh, has to pay if he is going to pay today only then he will pay the present value 8% is for uh, 12 months so 0.04% is for 6 months so how much is this let me calculate it first it is point, point zero 0.08 minus point 0.1 uh, two six divided by 12 it is equal to uh, uh, discounted at uh, 1.04 96.15